relationship that began in 2017. He said, um, well, can I pray with you? I thought I was so tired. We had been through so much. My sons and I, this kind person just to come up to me and say, can I pray with you? She said both of them struggled with opioid abuse. It's a classic story of uh, how many people get addicted to opioids. We both suffered from chronic pain. Mine was in my neck and his was in his back. Defense attorney Eric yeah. Nelson asked her about Floyd overdosing last March. You, you did not know that he had taken heroin at that time? No. Floyd's attorney, Ben Crump, released a statement that says, we fully expected the defense to put George's character and struggles with addiction on trial because that's the go-to tactic when the facts are not on your side. We're confident that the jury will see past that to arrive at the truth. The jury also heard from the paramedics who arrived to treat Floyd. When I showed up, he was deceased and I dropped him off at the hospital and he was still in cardiac arrest. City leaders announced ramped up security measures heading into this weekend, including Humvees and police vehicles patrolling the city. Anyone who is looking to harm either people or property in Minneapolis, it will not be tolerated. Uh, they will be arrested. There will also be more National Guard troops patrolling in the city. Michael George, CBS News, Minneapolis. You can watch the trial gavel to gavel each day live on our affiliate network, Court TV. We'll also provide updates on air and online at WTVR.com.